morning everybody. I'm out today at a new location um, which is Amwell in East Hertz. Never been here before so not 100% sure what to expect. This is the second hide that I've come into and uh, it's not, not too bad. We've got um, some common sandpiper that's around We've got plovers, we've got Canada geese, lots of other birds that's flying in and out, shags, cormorants, and um, I was, the light is very bad at the moment, getting a lot of reflection off the water, but um, I'm just making a couple adjustments on the camera to see what I can actually do about that. So, as I go through the day here, I'll give you more information as I go along. The one thing about Amwell, I've actually heard there's bitterns here and um, I've come to the wrong side of uh, the reserve. I need to go further down to be able to find that bittern hide but uh, I'll, I'll eventually get there. This is obviously a really nice spot for wildlife so I'll be putting in some time and effort to see what I can actually get out of it. So I'm back in the first hide where I started this morning and as I say just getting a little bit more information about the place stopped off at the observation point where you can actually see the bitterns and as you go further down there's another area that's just absolutely teeming with uh, long tail tits, cold tits, blue tits all together but very difficult to be able to see inside the trees at the moment with the amount of foliage that we've actually got so I just left it that for another day but um, got the odd little photograph I just checked the camera and the ones of the buzzard were a little bit too far, a little bit blurred and um, I've been playing around with the settings using different lenses this morning and you must know that's always bad to be able to adjust your camera quickly for a decent shot takes time and normally by that time the birds have actually gone but I've always found that once you find a good area and this has obviously got really good potential that you can then know exactly how to be able to set your camera up for what type of conditions and everything that you're going to have at different times of day like on that other hide they the light conditions is really bad a lot of glare coming off the water but here it's very shaded so anything that I manage to capture this side will be a lot better and obviously this is a place to be able to come to later on in the day and it's not one of those places like an RSPB centre where they close the doors at five o'clock here you can stay and come whenever you want to so uh, as I say it's all exploratory at the moment and uh, we'll just see how every, everything progresses It's always good to get a little bit of local knowledge and the one guy that I was talking to inside of that last hide was actually telling me that there's not actually a bitten hide here it's actually an observation point and apparently this is the observation point where you actually see the bitterns
So as I say, this is like a reconnaissance today. It's my very first time here. And what I'm going to do is make my way over to the other hide because apparently on Sunday the bitterns were actually showing there. This is a view from the other hide that I was telling you guys about. Not a large stretch of water by any means, but this is where the bittern was showing on Sunday. So this is, in my opinion, ideal if you manage to be able to see the bittern because it's going to be really close up and you don't have to use a large lens. That's the other hide that I've actually just come from and all the water stretches right out across there and it's quite a big expanse and this whole area is part of the River Lee navigation complex so uh, the law was simply something to see here yeah it's definitely something different this area massive big stretch of water stretching and panning from both sides And as I say, plenty, plenty wildlife everywhere. I've just decided to set the tripod up at this location that I was talking about because there's such a lot of activity. Over on the far bank, we've got a grey heron but on this lake we've got potchard, coot, gadwall, a little bit of everything really and uh, just had the marsh harrier flying over but I was too slow to get a shot of that and also a kingfisher just flying through which is nothing to be unexpected here in, especially in this type of area the food source must be really good Hi guys, this is where you actually start off coming to this reservoir. You cross over the bridge to Amwell and then you're presented with this big stretch of water that's over to my right here. That's the hides and everything that we visited today in the background. There's another one over to the left hand side which you can't see. But just look at this big expanse of water that we've got. And unfortunate, this side is actually under construction at the moment. So we'll get ready for that in a future video. As I was coming through here, saw a couple of kingfishers flying through as well. So I'll post a shot of that. So anyway, hope you're in enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel because we're gonna have plenty more in the future cheers have a great day